Panama has the highest rate of HIV infection in Latin America. What did you learn about the initiatives being undertaken in China during your visit? It is very important to say that, thank God we know the numbers now. Before we came to this office, we did not really knew the numbers because they were hidden. And why they were hidden? Because people were afraid of taking the tests. Something as easy and as normal of taking an HIV test. Nobody was taking them because they were afraid. Can you believe in this time of the world that people are afraid of being treated differently, being judged, being left aside, being uh, probably they were uh, left out of their jobs, throwing out of their homes for their families because of their status with HIV, um, that is just not acceptable anywhere in the world. But how do you get beyond the stigma that's attached with the disease? No one has the right to judge no one. That your health is above anything. That just a simple test can save your life. That being HIV positive doesn't mean to be, to, to, that you're going to die anymore. That it means that you can be treated the right way. Sometimes you only take three pills and that's it. You can have a normal life. So it is important for people to get the knowledge and the information right of, of their health. And from your observations and experiences, what do you think China could do to better prevent uh, the problem of HIV? Oh, information. Definitely information. The more you inform the people, the more the consciousness you make around the world about the, the illnesses, about um, the treatments, about the rights of the people. It is very important to, to, to say that, the rights of the people. You have the right to be tested freely with no discrimination and you have the right to be treated. Um, those two things will save your life.